Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. God bless you. Uh, it's wonderful to see you and I just want to wish everybody a uh, happy Christmas and a new year coming up. And uh, I just want to give you blessings and I just want to thank everybody that has been a blessing and a, to, a help to me over the last year especially. So I want to just give thanks to those uh, people uh, to thank the Lord and to thank uh, the people that have helped me uh, over this year and for your prayers and so you, your support. I want to thank those who were praying for one minute a day for Royal Blood Ministries. When you did that, powerful things happened, people were getting converted, there were large crowds and things really moved. So for those who were praying that one minute a day for Royal Blood Ministries, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you for those who donated uh, money. Uh, there have been people who've donated uh, generously uh, to Royal Blood Ministries and uh, donated for a banner, donated for the speakers, uh, donated for uh, lots of things really and I want to just say thank you. Uh, we have a buggy that was donated, uh, we had um, everything that is needed for the ministry, of Royal Blood Ministries, was donated and I want to thank all those people who, who sold into my ministry and the ministry of others who were helping me. I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you uh, for Frank and his family, uh, Kadeem, uh, for the support that he, he's given me over the year. He's been a great encouragement to me. And also, I want to thank his church and for members of the church, uh, Martin, Art and Leonard who have come over. Uh, I want to thank you all for your support. I want to thank you all for your encouragement. I want to thank you for the backbone of my own ministry, which has been Mike, and particularly, and Gareth and uh, Kieran. I want to thank them for the support that they've given me over the year and for the encouragement that they've been giving me. I want to thank Brendan for all the CDs and DVDs that he's provided and all the people that, street preachers and evangelists that have stood with me at Hyde Park, too many to, me to remember. Uh, Ray and uh, Staff, uh, Stafford and uh, many many others uh, who, who've helped uh, to stand with me at Hyde Park and to stand with me in preaching in Manchester and throughout the UK. Uh, I want to thank uh, Alan and his wife in Spain for the encouragement that they gave me. I want to thank uh, Dorcas and uh, her, her father the bishop and uh, her mother and brothers and sister and uh, the whole churches in Ghana of uh, the Lamb of God Ministries that were a tremendous encouragement to me and took me in as a family and made me feel such a part of the ministry and part of the family. I want to thank them so much for all the encouragement that they've given me and all the love and support that they've given me. I want to thank uh, pastors that I've been able to work with, uh, Pastor Isaac, uh, Pastor, um, Pastor Kosh, uh, Pastor Clement and many other pastors that I've been able to work with and to talk to over the last year. Um, and I just want to thank everybody else. I want to thank especially my family. I love them dearly. I love my mum and dad. I love my brother and my sisters dearly and my nephews. And uh, I want to just give my love to various churches that I know, that, that know me. Uh, I want to thank them for the prayers. And I want to thank many of you who have encouraged me, left comments that have encouraged me, uh, who've said that they've prayed for me, and who, who, if I've left anybody out, I just want to thank everybody. There's some people that keep sewing into my ministry, keep encouraging me, giving me uh, finances, praying for me, and I just want to thank everybody who's been a help and a, and a support to me. I appreciate it and I value it and I don't deserve it, but I want to thank everybody. And most of all, I want to thank God for his encouragement. I want to just give a testimony that God, it says in Philippians, that God shall supply all your need 
uh, God has provided everything financially and practically, emotionally uh, in my life. He's sustained me in ministry. He's helped me in ministry. He's opened doors. He's done miraculous things in my ministry uh, and in my life. And it's because of the prayers of his people and the encouragement of his people. I want to spend a special shout out to Nigel as well, a good friend who's uh, always given me a lot of good counsel and support. Uh, so, I just want to say a couple of things of, of encouragements in my own ministry that I've seen over the year. I've seen some miraculous conversions, uh, people whose lives have changed uh, over the year. And in fact, it shocked me the power of God that how God can change people so drastically. So that's been amazing. Uh, I've seen a lot of people evangelizing more through the influence that we've been doing. And I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, a kind of, um, yeah, a kind of, uh, there's been a, a kind of um, revival, really. Not not a revival as in a revival, but there's been a kind of uh, a resurgence of street preaching and evangelism going on. And I think uh, Royal Blood Ministries has, has had a small part to play in encouraging people in that. We've had a small part to play in the revival resurgence of standing against Islam at Hyde Park and doing apologetics with Mike and others. And we, we, we played a, a small role in that and uh, God used us in that. And um, I've seen God at work in, in many ways through the ministry in bringing many, many countless people to the table uh, to take literature. Uh, many people have been encouraged, many people have been sustained and encouraged in their life and in their walk with the Lord and in their ministry. So these are just some of the things that God's been doing. God's blessed the website. People use the website regularly. Uh, people uh, contact me uh, from time to time and let me know how they've been encouraged. Um, so these are things that I want to just say thank you to God for, for his faithfulness. And I want to give him all the glory. I don't deserve it. Um, and I don't deserve all your support and all your encouragement and I've just seen the hand of God and his goodness open doors for me in miraculous ways and um, new doors have opened where I believe God has called me to, to live and work in Africa for the time being and uh, has blessed me with other blessings which some of you know about in Africa, in Ghana. So I, I'm, I just feel encouraged that God is working in my life, that God's opened doors in my life uh, and God is using me. I was out uh, on Tuesday, I had a wonderful time on Tuesday. Um, it, I, I had crowds come to hear the preaching all through the day. We, didn't get, we don't get it on cameras most of the time because I don't have people who were working on the camera most of the time. But we had crowds coming through all the day. To the end of the day, we had a large crowd of, of Muslims where we're, I was interacting with them. Many people got the gospel and a number of people were cancelled and encouraged in the, in the war with the Lord. So I want to give God the glory. I want to ask you to pray for my future work in, high, uh, in uh, I'll be going in April, God willing. So I want to ask you to pray, uh, to continue to sow into my life and into my ministry, especially being a mission partner in the future. But I want to ask you to pray for my move to, to Africa, to Ghana, to set up, to help uh, set up a Bible college and seminary, to train young people to do mission, to train pastors to be expository preachers of the word. Uh, and I believe that I'm needed there at the moment. I, my heart is here in the UK. My heart is for Manchester. Uh, and one day I hope to be back. But I feel that a need... There is a need there and my heart needs to be there just for some time to, to spread the importance of preaching the word and missions there 
in, in, in Ghana and as far as for you as a Ghana as I can in Africa. So I want to just share a word I think. I think I, if there's a word that I want to share, I think for this year is this really. It says, uh, Matthew 28, verse 16, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountains, where Jesus had told them, Go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority is in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. My, my, my final words for this year, coming to the end of this year, and into the new year, is God has given us a great commission, and the church needs to obey that great commission. We need to be willing to sacrifice and give our lives to save the lost. And so I want to encourage you to think about, pray about supporting the Great Commission and also you getting involved in it. It starts with prayer, start prayer meetings, start getting involved in your local church, start strategizing in your area about how to bring churches together and mobilize for mission. And use your own gifts that God has given you and the talents that God has given you, whatever those talents are, and put them at God's feet and use them to share the gospel in these days. We're, we're living in very, very dark days and very challenging days and we mustn't sleep. We must awake and get on with the great task. And I would encourage you to do that this year. Give all you can to serving God. The, the days are short and uh, it won't be long before the Lord is back. So let's work hard, whether you're in full-time employment or not, we can all give our lives to the Lord in different ways in sharing the gospel. So God bless you. I'm going to say a prayer for you and your families. And uh, I want to just uh, thank God for your kindness and love to me. Father, I thank you for all these families and all these individuals that have sown into my life friends and pastors and family and all sorts of people Lord have been kind to me this year many many people so many people I can't mention Lord but I pray for each one of their families Lord Father that you will give them a blessing this Christmas and a blessing the following year Lord may 2019 be a rich blessing for everyone Lord and may they know your comfort and your protection and your encouragement and I pray, Lord, that all of us would advance the gospel and advance your cause without fear of man and proclaim your word and truth in this coming new season in 2019. So we praise and thank you, O God, and we give you the glory and honour. We magnify your name and we honour you today, Almighty God. And Father, we trust that as you open doors for each one of us in the new year, May we go through by faith, and may we trust in you, Lord. So we commit everything to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And again, thank you for all your support and your encouragement. And may we all go forward in the coming year and serve the Lord. God bless you.